Hey everybody, Mac here for OCR Kings, and uh, I'm taking a lunch break, and there is no food in the house. So I am starting to get hangry. Uh, I went scrounging, and lo and behold, I dipped into my MRE stash, and I found basically the military uh, equivalent of the McDonald's McRib sandwich. So finally, I'm going to dig into the uh, menu 16 rib-shaped barbecue flavor pork patty. You don't believe me? That's the description right here. Okay, I'm going to spare you the chomping. I'm going to go to uh, an overhead camera so you can see, actually see the food. Uh, without further ado, I'm just going to open this thing up and go for it right now. Okay, you don't have to use a knife. You can pull these things apart. In the interest of time, cut it wide open. All right. Nothing left in the bag. Warfighter recommended. Warfighter tested. Warfighter approved. All right, this is typical. Here's your waterproof packaging for all of your envelopes and stuff. Now, typically, I would just eat these things right out of the envelopes that they're packaged in, especially when you're backpacking, you're out in the field, whatever. I never have something like this. Look how fancy a plate, okay? Nor uh, glasses of water or things. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, I'm going to start pulling things out. Here is the barbecue pork patty. Uh, it comes in a pouch like this. Typically, you tear off the top. Yep. Dig right in. Okay. But we want to see what's going on there, so I will show everybody. We'll also get reaction from over here, and we'll eat off of there so you can see what's going on. This is the envelope that you're going to hold the thing in, heat it up in after you pull it out of your heater. Uh, Santa Fe rice and beans. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Here's the accessory pouch. It's like coffee and sugar and gum and stuff. I'm not going to do much with this thing, okay? Waterproof packaging. If I need a TP for any reason, it's right here. Throw that off to the side. And of course, this has to be, yes, it is, wheat snack bread. All right. Pretty dry. This feels pretty thin. Let's see if those are the newer thin ones. I think they are. Barbecue sauce. I'm going to throw that in there as well. The overhead gang. Beverage base powder. Okay, we're going to make some lemonade. Normally these things kind of suck. Okay. Uh, not because of the flavor, just because of the fact that they don't dissolve very well. Um, usually the water that I'm putting them in is like lukewarm or body temperature because it's in a pack and you're doing all of these kind of things. I have a nice cold glass of water. We're going to see how that works out. What do we have here? Caramel apple ranger bar. Alright, so a little bit of dessert. We'll see what that entails. Peanut butter. Peanut butter and barbecue rib-shaped pork patty. I Okay, I don't know if there's <laughs> an MOS or something where um, you make and design menus. Peanut butter's good. Would I have put it with a pork rib sandwich? No. So I don't know which <laughs> warfighter <laughs> approved that one, but uh, I think I need to talk to you because that was not the best choice. I was hoping for a cheese spread. I didn't get it. I got peanut butter. Wow. Here's the ubiquitous brown spoon. That's great. Plastic spoon. No big deal. But usually this means food. So it means it's time to eat when the brown spoon comes out. A little bit of... Um, Nutritional value on the Santa Fe style rice and beans. Don't care about that because I'm that hungry. Here is the heater. We'll get to that in a second. Beverage bag. Beverage bag sometimes takes some abuse. I don't mix too much in here. I guess maybe you could do your coffee or whatever. I don't know how you would heat it up very well unless you heated it outside of your flameless ration heater. But these are great for your phones and peripherals and devices and things. You put them in here, okay? You put them in your vest or your backpack. You go out running in the rain, you got no worries. So I'm going to hold on to that. I like these. Some utility there. 
And then some apple jelly. All right, so I guess you could have peanut butter and jelly on some of your wheat snack bread. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make a sandwich just like uh, <laughs> McDonald's or whatever. So I'll throw that off to the side too. Okay, we'll skip ahead here a little bit. Okay, so I've arranged everything on the plate here that I'm going to consume, and I put my uh, water and uh, the entrees into the uh, flameless ration heater bag, and I follow the instructions, which my favorite of all times is the uh, this one here, placing it at an angle against a rock or something. I really hope that that one comes out on camera. So being quite literal, here is my rock. Boom. Really follow the instructions. Don't put more water in there than uh, between those two lines. Otherwise the flameless ration heater doesn't really heat up too well. I've got it in between the entree and the rice and I'm going to let that cook. So while we're waiting for that, let's grab the old uh, beverage base powder, making some lemonade there. Mm. Poof, wow, dusty. Okay, throwing that right into the glass. You come down to short strokes and you want something that's more like fun dip. I'll, I'll rip this thing open and put water right in there. It's a little goopy and there'll be a little bit more chewing involved, but uh, it's not bad. Grabbing my spoon. Okay, get rid of that. And we'll stir it up. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Goop. Alright, they really don't break down too well in the water. They don't taste bad, they just resist dissolving. See if you can see that. Okay, doesn't look super appetizing. And if you get a burst of it, it's pretty flavorful. A little bit tangy. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a beverage that you really have to chew. That's not bad. I'd give that about a five or a six. Let's see what else we got here. More in the sweet vein. This is a caramel apple ranger bar. Yeah, this is more of a dessert kind of thing. Go ahead and open this pouch. Let's see what comes out here. Okay, I'm going to move my other stuff off the plate. Take your fancy dining. Wow, opening it. Get a scent already. Very cinnamon ish. A little bit of apple notes in there, but it's pretty dry, pretty crusty. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. An odd crunch, like an oatmeal kind of thing going on. Um, not too apple-y. A lot of cinnamon there. Not bad, not awful, but really dry. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's what it looks like. That's how it crumbles. Makes a little bit of a mess. It's a good thing my MRE came with a moist towelette so I can clean up afterwards. Let's now go to the tried and true wheat snack bread. You talk about dry. A lot of people have said that this is like some of the driest stuff on earth. I like it. I think I'm sometimes maybe the only one. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. Alright, this is not how it used to be. Wow, these are thin. Alright. Not as thin as a dollar bill, but pretty close. Normally the old ones used to be about that thick. So they cut it down in half. I guess our <laughs> war fighters are watching their carb intake. So we're counting calories. Here's our Santa Fe beans and rice. Okay, going for it. Okay, so here's the reveal in the envelope. These are usually not appealing looking. How does that look? 
not so great, right? That does, yeah, that doesn't look great at all. Wow, it's odd too, the smell is not fantastic. Mm -hmm. Put some on the plate. Okay, a little bit of a Play-Doh-ish kind of thing. Play-Doh consistency all the way. Doesn't look appealing. Does not look great. Let's try it. Here comes the reaction. I'm going to the bigger camera. Got some rice in there. Looks like some red peppers. Got a cheesy type smell. Cheddar cheese. Okay, here we go. It's not bad. It's very, yeah, it's got a very cheese. That's odd. Very cheese type flavor. Some beans in there. Hmm. Consistency's not bad. Don't let the look fool you. And some corn. A little bit of onion. Hmm. I'm really kind of blown away by the cheese factor of this. I'd give this one yeah, about a five. Five or six. Not the worst, but I would not rush to have this one again. Very overpowering now. Cheese flavor. Okay. I'll polish that off and we get to the uh, the main event here. Okay, so I finished my rice and I went back and finished off my ranger bar and I've taken the main entree here, the uh, pork sandwich, out of the flameless rasher, ration heater bag, excuse me, and now we're going to open it up and see what we got inside. Now again, I would typically just eat this right out of this green pouch, okay, but uh, we want to do the old sandwich kind of thing. There's going to be juices in here. And uh, those are actually pretty good. Looking in there, it doesn't look fantastic. Doesn't look fantastic at all. When you're eating it out of a pouch, you don't really know the difference, but let's put it on a plate and see what we got. There's the juice. Let's get some of that. It's kind of orange. No, it's definitely orange. That is really salty and really smoky. And um, that's not bad. This reaction. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. What you could do is break up your wheat snack bread, throw it in there, put the barbecue sauce in there as well, and have like a little stew. But again, yeah, that's pretty good. Biggest um, note there is this smoky kind of thing followed by the salt. So, here she comes. Oh yeah. That looks like um, a Salisbury steak, maybe? Served to you if you were in trouble. <laughs> if you were being punished. That's maybe what you would get. Okay. That doesn't look super duper fantastic. Let's take a little bite. Okay. Everybody see that? Okay. Here we go, drum roll. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so this is the best thing so far in this whole meal. Mmm. Ah, it tastes like pork. It tastes a little bit more like ground beef. It's not bad. It doesn't look great but it is not bad. This juice stuff, I really, really like. I'm gonna mop with the bread, soak up some of that stuff, make the bread a little bit less dry. And it comes with barbecue sauce. Let's throw a little bit of that on there. Let's see what we got. I got greasy fingers. I'm going back to the knife. Can I have the knife, please? Anybody gets that reference, put a comment below. Okay, so here's barbecue sauce. It wasn't very barbecue 
tasting. It was more smoky tasting, the meat, by the way. Let's see what this tastes like by itself. Barbecue sauce going in. Yeah, no, that's the worst barbecue sauce I've ever had. That's, wow, that sucks. That is not barbecue-y at all. It tastes, ugh, uh, metallic -y and like a kind of a crappy ketchup kind of taste. That's lame. Okay, we're going to put that toward the bottom. Okay, that'll be bite number two. Yeah, that's, that sucks. That might ruin the sandwich here. We are, that's, it's like ketchup, but with molasses. It's, that is not good. That's not good. Okay. Here is our sandwich. With a little bit of the juice. That skeeves you out. There's the dry side. Okay. Here's without the barbecue sauce that's going in. Ready? That's not bad. Is that high cuisine? No. Is it terrible? Like, oh my goodness, prepackaged military food? That's not bad. It reminds me a bit of their hamburger patties. I think it's the same thing, just flavored with more smoky stuff. The sauce is kind of what makes it. That's not bad. This versus the McRib. Hold on, let me get another bite. Okay, here we go. Mmm. I don't know what the hubbub is about the McRib. I've had that. That tastes like a vulcanized rubber piece of pseudo meat with really tangy barbecue sauce on it and onions and pickles. No big deal. I think it's the novelty that people like. The bread is better on the McRib, but this together with the juice, this beats the McRib. Way to go, warfighters who approved this one. Thumbs up. Would I want to eat this every day? No. Is this the best MRE I've ever had? No. Is it the worst? Well, far from it. This is not bad. Now again, could you eat all of this with your spoon? Definitely. Would this have been better with one of the cheese spreads? You better believe it would. Some of the cheese spreads are awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Spare everybody the chomping. It's not bad. This whole experience, MRE-wise... MRE -wise, I'd give it a five and a half to six. The sandwich saved the day. Everything else was kind of meh. And like barbecue sauce would have ruined it. So five and a half, six. Would I eat this again? Yes. Would I rush to eat this again? No. Did it was it gross? Not at all. The uh, the rib sandwich thing was uh, it was okay. It was okay. So this has been Mac for OCR Kings having a little bit of lunch. Thanks for watching. See you next time.